to introduce my friend, Dr. Nettie Hammond. So, um, Nettie, you might know as a nurse for many, many years working for Timurai Order. But Nettie and I, we started, but I was thinking about it when I was having to start thinking about introducing Nettie this morning. Nettie and I met each other in 2003 when I became a health advisor at the Ministry of Education. And Nettie mm -hmm. had been supporting the Ministry of Education with the health education curriculum for a long time <coughs> and teaching health in schools and uh, gave me some ideas around what she had been doing previously. So Betty and I have now known each other for about 18 years. Wow. And so uh, I don't think either of us would have thought probably way back then that we would end up doing our doctorates and now look at us, right? Um, and both of us feel very passionate about health education and Betty and uh, Betty's thesis, which I've just uh, put there, looked at the health status of young people in Titicapaca. Um, so directly about young people and their health and well-being and thinking about uh, all the aspects that are connected, that, which is culture, <coughs> language, but also the way the world is changing in terms of the impact on young people's health and well-being. It is now um, doing some work for the Lens Institute, which is um, an institute based at the University of Auckland and they are predominantly looking at diabetes and interventions with young people and young mothers around uh, what we know as those first thousand days impact the health of people for the rest of their lives. So the first thousand days from conception uh, to three years old, the food you eat, the the environment you're in, the way you're spoken to, the experiences you have impact on your life and on health. And so it's a very interesting project that uh, Nettie is still involved in. But she's going to talk to you today about her unique Cook Islands research framework that she developed within her PhD. It's very interesting. Um, I think you'll find it fascinating. And it's just yet another lot. We've just had you know, two weeks now of looking at different the different ways that Cook Islanders <coughs> approach their research and privileging their own Cook knowledge, and I think that that's really exciting. So please give me to your warm up. Thank you, thank you, Debbie, for inviting me. I feel honoured to be asked to come and speak to some of our future <laughs> researchers. And, uh, and I think I owe a lot, we owe a lot to you people as teachers. Because we wouldn't have been able to do things like this if it wasn't for the teachers. That started, my teachers started back in Maliki. All my family education was in Maliki. And I never thought that I would go to university. And I never thought I would be able to do that. I didn't have the capacity to get to university. You know, sometimes we have this thing about ourselves. We think so lowly about ourselves. And especially if we are from the outer islands. Is that right? Uh -huh. Southern group, not too bad, but the northern group. You know, when we come here, we tend to be we feel the skill with the look down on us. Uh -huh. But in a way, I think if we look at the other way and say, no, I'm going to show you people here in Rarathon that we are just as good as you are. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. but as we go through, I will uh, be able to. So, these are, this, this is just because you've done most of it. You have lecturers who talk to you about how to do research. But this is just my approach. I think, um, he was the principal in Mani, and he knew about this. But I think maybe we'll give you a copy of all my yeah. 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 So you don't have to. My friend here, I think he was I knew him very well when I went to Mani to present my thesis. So that's how I knew him very well. Okay, these are just some of the things I felt I need to add to other speakers who spoke about research. Firstly, 
Indigenous people traditionally value their oral conversation and traditions and pass on to their stories, pass on their stories from one generation. You know, our people, they don't like to write. They just go from one to hang down. And sometimes we, we miss the gist of what the message was, okay? The civic research is based on their presuppositions, such as the ideas of time, self-image and attitude, space and attitudes with others. I was here when the Newport was talking and she explained to you about the space, the vibe, the, the gap here. So I thought I'll just bring that. I'm not going to talk about how you conduct the research. What I'm going to do today is really just to share to you my research mm -hmm. and the process I went through it. And I just want to highlight some of the factors that was very stuck in my mind when I was doing my research. And afterwards, when I look back, and I think this was the best thing, the, the most important things I learned from it. Cook Islanders are privileged. We are very privileged to live and witness life in both worlds. Our Cook Island Maori way and also the Western Papa world. The research is really something the Papa, we, we didn't think about research as at the Open I was at Terrera College. And the, but the real challenge here is to have those conversations extend beyond the discourse into literature or books. Mm -hmm. We like talking, but we don't like writing. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. That's what I mean there. And lastly, Pacific people also acknowledge their ancestors, including those who have passed on. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we all understand this, even though they passed away. We still think and talk about them. Even for me, um, when I present here, I had a photo of my principal from Tuko School. That was the ages ago. He's passed on. But when I was doing my research, I always think about my teachers. You were the people that stuck in my mind. So you are very valuable. Nurses are valuable, but for me, I, without the teachers, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, this is how important, you are very important as well. Now, setting the topic, setting my topic. I didn't know, I, know I had so many ideas. These are the three main things that stuck in my mind. Women's health. At that time, in 2006, I think, there were a lot of breast cancer, women with breast cancer, who were diagnosed. And we didn't have a mammogram at that time. And by the time they were diagnosed, it was too late. And it's, you know, when you lose a mother, it's like one of the really sad things that happened to a child. And the health of the elderly, at that time, my mother was in her 80s. And I spent most of my time in New Zealand when she was in, in the process of leaving this earth. And young people have research. Later on, I'll tell you why young people. And my final decision was, yeah, I think when you're doing a research, debating what to research, you have a lot of questions. Why should I do this something? Which is important to me. What value can I get in? How can my community benefit from it? So this is why I put this slide on. These are the three areas that stuck in my a woman, and my mother, and then young people. I had children. I had uh, young children at the time. So this was the title of my book. The title was almost at the end, but I thought I'd put it up for your benefit. And I had to try. I wanted to be Cook Island this. Okay? And this is my title. <coughs> and I, my mouth is terrible. And most of all, I speak Malik, and a lot of people don't, don't understand my language. So I had to go and ask the opinion from one of the teachers. You know who that teacher was? She used to be the Mari Kirkland at the Tutere. Henry Kirkland. Oh. She was the one who translated <laughs> my, my thesis. So there you are, nurses and teachers working together. And I think it's an appropriate, appropriate uh, translation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, before I, I could go on, I think we need 
to understand the community we are looking at. So here is a, um, a statistic report of the population of young people over a few years. If you look at the young people, the total of the people less than 50 is 25%. Uh, <coughs> Uh, this is a better one. That's the old one. So I've just taken three years. If you look at the percentage, almost a third of the young people in the Cook Islands, uh, almost a third of the Cook Island population are young people. So this is the future leaders of our country. And that was another factor why I chose young people, because we, we will be gone. And we want our young people to be good. Leaders when they grow up, healthy. Not just having a PhD when you're not healthy. Okay? So we need people to be healthy so they can contribute more to our well, That's the only reason why I put that, is to look at, and also the other point important is the labor force, right? They would be the, the work, the labor force of our country. And these are the problems that has been identified. Okay. Cook uh, Island youth population there. You look at the brownies and the like, the Cook Islands, and uh, the other brown, the blue is Rarotonga, of course, rather than Vos. But the southern and the northern, there's a little variation. If you look at the green at the bottom, that's the northern group. It's almost flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, but. The second one, Rautonga and the Altai, fluctuates all the time. But it's important to see the, the, the previous slide I had. <coughs> over 37% of the population are young people. Mm -hmm. And it involves you people. Mm -hmm. Some of you are very, still very young. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Here you are. Why young people? This is my question. <coughs> Why young people? Concerned about, I was concerned about the negative reporting by local and international media about issues and concerns in the land. And you hear that every day, don't you? You read the paper, motor vehicle accident, drink driving, driving without an helmet, there's a law now. And the high morbidity and mortality amongst young people, MEA, motor vehicle accident, suicide, alcohol abuse, teenage pregnancy all these issues. Um, morbidity, you all know what morbidity is? Yes, yes. The, 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 the red one, the second one. You know what morbidity is? No. And mortality? Yeah. You know what morbidity is? Yeah. Really the diseases. Okay. Mortality is death. Yeah. All right? So they're big words, but now you know. <laughs> the doctor yeah. stopped and the nurse is talking smartly. You know what they're talking about. Yeah. Okay. And the lack of research and literature on young people in the Cook Islands. I just know most of the research, that our, our references are really people from overseas. But now it's good that you're going to do, you will be part of the future researchers. You will be referenced as this is your idea. So, there's lack of literature when I started mine in 2006. <coughs> Hardly any. Many sounds of speech. Cook Islands, not many. How many of you are here? About 20 or 12 or 15. So we're going to have some more researches. Provide evidence for policy and program development <coughs> for young people. You know, when you're developing a policy, you need evidence so that you can produce a policy. Uh, lastly, they are the most productive age group as well as our future parents and leaders. And this is the one point that really stuck in my mind. We are going to fade out one day and it's our young people who's going to take over our, the leadership in our country. They should be good, healthy role models for future yeah. generations. Hi. Yes? Yeah, nice. Now, the one of your collection, look at it. Look at the age group with the high, the numbers. Does that show you a picture? <laughs> yeah. 15 to 34. Most of the motor vehicle accidents are within that age group. I just thought I'd bring this just to support that. 
and the teenage pregnancy is coming down, but still high. Oh, we need more. <laughs> we need more babies. <laughs> yeah, but we need not more babies. But make sure they are there. <laughs>
I wasn't sure, but I went and spoke to all the traditional people. Remember Papa Tutti Karina? Yeah. I spoke to him and he I wanted to, him to explain what is Papa Tutti, but I'll show you the, the response. The research objectives to review literature on health promotion and positive youth development from an international Pacific and Cook Island perspective. So don't just look at the Cook Island, you have to look outside the Cook Island. To define health from a Cook Island perspective, to identify the positive contribution by people to themselves, their families, and the countries of. You know, um, I, young people are so passionate, I'm so passionate about young people because I, the, what I say, they are future leaders. And quite often you hear all the negative things about young people. But why don't we focus instead? In fact, we talk always about the negative. Even as women, we look at the women, other women, we think about the negative instead of the positive. Look go and say, oh look, you are why then the mother you are going to get up. And then we tell that you know, having done this, I took over and said to them, oh, you know, having done this, I took over and said to them, oh, it looks so beautiful on you. So acknowledge that with our young people. When they graduate, go up and say, congratulations, you deserve this, this mm -hmm. day. And four, to examine the extent of the health issues and concerns among young people in the Cook Islands. And finally, to explore ways of minimizing or eliminating the impact of the issue, issues and concerns <coughs> identified by participants to improve the health and quality, right, qualities, not just the life, the quality of life, young people in Bapataktu. I told you I picked Bapataktu because I find they have a lot of traditional uh, people there that were very helpful to me in my research. And I like the name <coughs> Bapataktu. <coughs> Age definition of it. What do we mean by it? Oh, sometimes, you know, I hear people say, oh, they're from Mapu. Hmm? Yeah. Why? Because there's no wrong, there's no one way of saying you're a mafu. Of course, why not? If you are beautiful, you say, ooh, mafu, mani, yeah, but why not? <laughs> so definition, WHO will health is 10 to 19, and youth is 15 to 24. SBC, New Zealand, Samoa, Fiji, they all differ in the definition. But for, for, for Cook Islands, 15 Whoa. to 34 years. Whoa. Kugali's <laughs> <laughs> national, this is according to the Kugali national youth policy. All right, if you notice that I have always uh, reference these definitions in Russia. Okay. So it's not mine. I have referenced all them that these are the definitions. Even the Kugali, this is international law. And again, look at here 37% of the Kugali population are young people. That's over a third. And this is <coughs> the cream of our population. Continue. The way they present themselves, yeah. yeah. They show signs of maturity. You know the way they carry themselves? Yeah. They are too care. They feel what we have to come and get them and maybe it's what the way out. They come out to the other side and they come out to the other side and they come out to the other side. That's why I say about the opinion. That's why I say for the purpose of our research, we have to have evidence where it does in the This is in the book out of the national youth policy. Alright? So, but like I said earlier on, do you have to stick to this? Look at yourself, look at your kids now. Have you have you thought of maybe there's a reason? For me, today, when Growing, 
Just an example. Before the menstrual starts off uh, menstruation, you know what's going on. Then I go on first at the period. They usually start late. Okay. Now, 11 years, girls are starting. This is a sign that they are mature. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what's the youngest girl that got pregnant in the Cook Islands? No, 11 years. That means when your body is mature, once you start menstruating, you have sex. You could get pregnant. So that's why, because change of lifestyle, change of food. Okay? I know, I, I think we all remember when you were 10 or 11, you behaved like a kid. Yeah, but you look at your children now. Let it be a small marble. 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 This is the definition of Kukan. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to today. I love the, the definition by SPC. Yeah. 15 to 24 for statistical reasons. However, SPC respects the definition by some member countries. Which I think is fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's only, that's only in writing. But people are individuals. We are all different. No two young girls are the same. There you are. What is the definition of youth? Adolescent, we have different names. Adolescent, youth, young people is the transition period between childhood and adulthood. Okay. It doesn't give any um, any age, right? It's a time when many important life changes. I think that's the key factor there. The changes that happens within a young person, such as establishing an individual identity, the way they dress, the way they talk, okay? the shoes they wear, mm -hmm. establishing an identi individual identity, undergoing physical, psychological, and social changes relating to sexual maturity. Leaving school and seeking paid employment or further education, leaving home and becoming independent from parents. And for some, becoming parents themselves. It's this last one that is a concern to me. We want them to be ready before they become parents. That's, that's me. You could be different in how you look at it. <coughs> research approach. My research takes a qualitative approach. Guided by community-based participatory research. By Menkla and Wallenstein. Participatory action research by Cock and Collie. This one I forgot. She was a Cook Islander. Can you guess who? She doesn't live here. They don't want to hurt us. They're cheap and red one. I don't know why I forgot it. <laughs> Terrible of this. Anyway, qualitative research. You all know this. You talked about qualitative the past two weeks. I don't need to read it through. But I like patterns there. Patterns. Uh, Definition describes this approach as naturalistic, mm -hmm. that is, research takes place in their natural environment, and the researcher does not attempt to manipulate the phenomenon of interest, such as the group, community, and relationship. I quite like this, this uh, definition. Challenges inside the versus outside the status. Have you heard that before? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what it is? <coughs> okay. Inside the research, outside the research. It's in the research uh, literature. For 
me, when I was doing mine, I look at myself, I could be an insider, I could also be an insider, outsider. Okay? Because what I thought approach is important when you go into a research. As an insider, I've got outside of this. As an outsider, I am not from Tartu. I am from Ani. Okay? But at the same time, and I also live in Tartu in Tewoto, and as insider, I'm also from the Rotterdam community, and she's from Tartu. My grandmother, great grandmother is from Tartu. Mm -hmm. okay? And not many, not many people know that. They always know me as Mani, I'm happy. Because I always classify with Mani. But if you look at your roots, that's when you can justify your being an insider. Okay? Because quite often the, the participant will say, oh, I don't know what I'm going to say. It's hard. You know what I mean, eh? Yes. Yeah. I gotta it. But this is hard. But you don't have to say these things when you go. But it's a challenge for you to look at it. Yeah. Insider and outsider business. So about the outsider. <coughs> but as an insider, my grandparent, my on my mother's side, she's a rough woman and she's come from type two and then married into Kuwaitula. Mm -hmm. So that's the outsider status. Because it can affect the impact of your when you're collecting your data. Mm -hmm. Secondly, unforeseen changes. <laughs> right now, for example, is the rice. We never thought that. Mm -hmm. My daughter is supposed to come here, but the university said no traveling for staff and students. So these are some of the things, unforeseen changes. Mm -hmm. So she cannot. So I advise her, while you're there, do your literature and finish it. So that you can come when the border opens, you can just come here to do their research as well. Okay, participate in the local and national activities. What is what's in it for me to participate? I remember when I interviewed one group and, and this young man said to me, How much money the government paid you to come and talk to us? <laughs> <laughs> so it's the rewarding system, eh? So they expect some form of reward. Okay? So every time I, especially the young people, I have focus group, I'll tell you later. When I have focus group, I always buy them some drinks. Uh, I don't mind them with them because they won't drink it. <laughs> I know it's wrong to give them sweet drinks, but then it's part of the research process. You have to give some. Uh, I don't call it a, something as an incentive to them. Uh, when I did my initial meeting, I had a evening conversation. So it's some form of acknowledging their contribution to your research. Mm -hmm. But young people always talk about money, mm -hmm. monetary rewards. Yeah. As he said that to me, luckily I, I looked through my literature before I yeah. started the data collection. Three strategies, interviews, and observations, and the documents. So you have to look at all. So this is my approach. I don't think I'm going to this, but this is it. You will have the, the whole transparencies. Unless you have a question. Many questions youth, for you, the stakeholders. Five questions I have. What is the meaning of health to you? Okay? I look at health a different way. The young people look at health a different way. Okay? They're making sure that they got the right shirts, they got the right pick up the girls. You look at the girls today. Man, they're 12 years when they dress up. Boy, they think they are about 14, 15 years old. What are the positive contributions by them? So don't just think of the negative things, look at also the positive things. What are they? And I put my positive first. So that they would they don't say, oh look, she's also not the one thinking of what the bad things we do. What are the issues and concerns? Why are these concerns? Or what are the causes of these? Why do you think these are concerns? How can these issues and concerns be minimized or eliminated? Mm -hmm. The least is, so these are some of the findings from mm -hmm. my interviews. Uh, sorry, these are the focus groups, stakeholders, key informants. So, I think that was quite a lot. I think I almost had focus on it because of the focus. But my target was the young.
young people. So I can have up to 20 in a focus group sometimes, especially in the sports, the youth groups, NGOs. So that last one on the top, Kevin CSA by Kevin Nero. I wonder if you heard about it. When I was doing mine, he was here. He was he had this sport, this two thousand sports academy. Academy. So I had I interviewed him also. Okay, but this is quite it's quite wide. The 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 you have to go get the it's a lot of work, but it's possible. Don't say it's impossible. You can do it. The meaning of health. This is some of the feedback from the, from the uh, health prevention, health promoting behavior, good nutrition, risk avoiding, absence of illness, being sick and fit, functional ability, okay, and the state of well-being. And this is the, the, the WHO definition, okay? And even some of them say holistic. Holistic means it's covered everything there, the physical, mental, emotional, mm -hmm. social. These are the smart young people who say that. Yeah? Political, they even mention political. <coughs> and the relationship between the mind, and body, mind, body, and environment. But this is the definition by uh, World Health. The state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of the disease. So, don't just think of disease, also think of the mental development and the social relationship between, between the community. Yeah. Of course, the physical health. Now, I just take this as an example on the question of uh, importance and value of health. This young man, you see, before I started with Caesar, he was a student of Caesar. My life was a real mess. In fact, when I talked with this young man, it brought tears to, my, mm -hmm. to me when I read his story. When he told me about the story, I dropped out of school at 14 years of age with alcohol, drinking, smoking, poor eating, and involvement with crimes, and ended up in prison. 14 years. But since I joined CISA, my whole life and health have changed for the better. Mm -hmm. And this young man, He's very good at rugby in his village, no names, and uh, he's more than 19 now. But you see, it can happen. Mm -hmm. We can change them. Sometimes, you know, when I hear just Maggie, I get angry with him. But look at him. He managed to change his life. He's now a minister of the crowd. We all know his history. So this is this, uh, yeah, I don't want to bring too many, it will take time. <coughs> These are the positive contribution, the social contribution. The it runs away and comes back. We think these are ghosts. Education, <laughs> sports, cultural activities. See, they have people like doing all this came from them, and the adults too. Cultural activities, church, economic and financial assistance, tourism activities, participating in government activities. Now we have a teen, is she a teenage now? The, the girl from Atu? What's a member of parliament in Atu? Oh. How old is she? 20s? 30s. 30s. 30. Well, still young. Be a politician. Ah, the other is young. Oh, the other is young. Twenties. 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 Yes. Yeah. Twenty five to six. There you are. All the involvement, eh? Participation in NGO and community projects, road track, Red Cross, all that. So there was a wide, wide uh, area of participants that I met together. They were very good, and I think when you go for the young people, they will take. <coughs> I didn't have any people refusing, except the young one, the group. I had to give them cans of drinks and uh, <laughs> donuts and all that. <laughs> Cost money. <coughs> Is that right? Okay, this.
these are the issues uh, on the whole. Uh, with that list, what's that, the last one? No, these are the countries. The drinking culture, the range. And uh, they came up with these ideas. They know how to help solve their problem. And I like the one, the, the third one, the youth voice. We are not being heard. Have little cultural respect in order to speak to people in the homes. Yeah, community, national policy development. Okay. Um, I just want to share something from our home. Eh? And I'm not very good at that, but my husband is very good. Every weekend, Sunday, we go off the kaika and we sit down at the table and we have a meeting with your family. How was school this week? And they read along the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> and how how was home? They gave us they gave us their feedback. Sometimes we feel bad. The feedback they give. But it's encouraging them to tell them where where we are going. What are we doing with them? Okay? So that's what one point that I really like, we are not being heard. Does the village leaders get the opinion of the young people? We don't wait till the problem happens, you know. Uh, I know there's something here from Achu. When I went, Minister Mokoro asked me to go with the team, we went to Achu. Okay. We don't want to wait till the problem arises. Because at that time there were a few suicides. Achu from overseas in New Zealand, Australia, here in Achu. So that's when the minister wanted the team to go and try and help. And these are the things you can look at. Eh? Yeah, we're not hearing them. We don't encourage them to give, give their ideas. We're not being heard. This is what we say. We're not, being, we're not involved in policy development. We are not, our, our contribution is not seen and appreciated. Suggest a solution. Came from them. Review liquor licensing, too many liquor outlets, maybe other traditional leaders. I think our traditional leaders have to. This, I remember before, when I was a child in the only one place you can buy alcohol in Rotterdam, and that's the common bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of you were not born then, I think. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> here. So, now, how many places selling alcohol in liquor? When I did my road of Rome, there was about 20 something. In your islands, how many? Do you know? Mitsia. Population of 100? 160. Aren't you? Uh, just over 400. 400. <coughs> That's three. Oh, three. Yeah, three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. 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 Okay, so these are some of the things that maybe one day you will become a member of parliament. Parenting, training, parents and upcoming up, up responsibility in relationship, quality time with our children, mm -hmm. love, caring, and nurturing. Even pre marriage, I think I'm, am I right? In the Catholic year, do they do pre month and marriage counseling? Catholic, I think, does that. Before they get married, they should get some counseling, eh? <coughs> Not that sure you get married and you have a problem, then you go for counseling. So they will, the idea is that they will make healthy choices. Their choices. MOE, review curriculum, academic training. I think when the first one they say, too much emphasis on academic. Is that right? We can all be teachers, we can all be doctors and professors and what else? But they have talents that they get. Yeah, okay. We need to build up on those talents. Training both young youth and adults on life skills. Life skills is the key there. Goal setting, self-esteem, grooming. Oh, I think the grooming, oh, they, they, they've advanced so much, our young people. Contraception, counseling, budgeting writing proposals and news. And lastly, hear us. Hear our voices, parents, leaders, government and communities. And positive approaches. I just want to put this 
like Raymond, perhaps if you stick in your mind, you look, here are us in the middle, and these are the factors that contribute to what we become, what we are and what we become. Developing, developing the health promotion model. And during the, the, the interviewing process, uh, the participants uh, put a they proposed to call the model the put a And uh, in the finding solutions to help for young people. And then we had the put a the traditional leaders. And I, I saw that all their, their views. And this one is, uh, I like it because the Pua is a two colored Maori name of the pandemistic tourist tree. Metaphor metaphorically represent the historical, the cultural, the physical, psychological, the economic, and even the sp spiritual aspect related to the Pua Rapotanto. But again, we must always seek their permission to use their title. So I had to meet with the Kuara Factum and they agreed to it. Even the two traditional chiefs, Pariki uh, and uh, and they did not that was alive at that time, she was very close to them. And there's the Pua. Something in the Kuka, not just in, in Rarotonga, but all over the Kuka, and even in the Pacific. And I've been to quite a lot of international meetings and I have seen the model used by other researchers. And the Pua has special identity meanings in the Pina Tapu, the Banna, the Pua Pina. And the function of Pua is to protect Paruru and is respected by people in Atabaka. So from a cultural or the traditional perspective, I think I have fulfilled that. <coughs> the Pu'ara model is right about the issue of partnership by young people with the researcher and supported by the stakeholders. And secondly, driven by young people and community, not professional or donor agency. You know, a lot of our policies are driven by overseas people. Why can't we get the ownership of our people? Ownership and transferable to other communities. Even I have seen researchers by someone and tell me they use my model and I use their models too. <laughs> yeah, it's a sharing here. <laughs> Developing, I use the community based participatory research, multi social, ecological environment, the social <coughs> determinants. So the MSEE, -E, that's a multi, it is referring to the people. Family, families, the school, the church, and the social determinants. I can go back. You remember that diagram? Uh, the half diagram? All those people are the ones that affect the health of uh, young people. Positive youth development, holistic approach, sensitive to physical, mental, social, cultural. All those things are important. And of course, the Ottawa Charter by the WHO is the all important. <coughs> and who are a model? Like a young person, it's a living entity, it's a life. Multi purpose use, which symbolizes a lot of factors relating to positive development of young people. Who are as part of the big picture of nature's vegetation? And the young people is the bigger picture of the nuclear and extended factors communities and the whole population. And the tree has several varieties. I didn't know that. 600. And we have four in the Cook Islands. And it represents the diversity of the young people. No two young people are the same, even in nuclear families. Okay? We are all different. Our children, even the, our children is different. And this is something we must Remember that each young person is different from the other. The uniqueness of a young person. And this is how I relate. The base of the tree, the two modukura, exposed and grown, provide a strong stability of the tree, thus represent the family unit, nuclear and extended, 
that provides strong foundation for our young people. The roots provide nutrients from soil and ground to sustain growth and represent connectedness or bonding with the mother earth and our land. The roots has medicinal use and represent the physical, cultural, spiritual, and healing perspective for young people. Mm. So each part of the tree has means uh, something to my uh, model. Okay, the puara, the the trunk. Puara tree is very inside, and the mature tree on the right is very straight. I remember in Maliki, the doctor was I'm sure the doctor had it too, but they. So that they, they are they use it because it's strong. Actually, do they have that? Yeah. The trunk is very strong and to do the traditional fathers to this home. They come to my money, they have father. That's represent strength in young people. It's the strength, that's why our parents use that, because they are strong. The branches and the stems connect the trunk of the tree, represent the connectedness between the young people and the body, social, ecological environment, <coughs> and the social determinant. So I've given a definition here of MSEE at the top. This relates to the nuclear families, the parents and the siblings, and extended families, mm -hmm. the change and all. And the SDOH are the conditions which people, young people are born in, like where they live, where they work, where they play. Okay, the genetic inheritance, social status, poverty, housing, education. And I like this, this the quote that it takes a whole village to raise a child. <coughs> The leaves exposed to the sun and rain allows photosynthesis to take place so that the tree can continue to grow to the tree. Okay? That's important. Also, we use the leaves for economic reasons. The young, the young leaves here. Yeah. And for the houses, for shelter and safety for our young people. So, Every part of the tree has a meaning. Even the apple, the, the fruit. The different variety of the variety has different beautiful colors and fragrance, which resembles the youngness and beauty, external and internal, mm -hmm. of our young people. Look at the apple. There you go. You know the eggs. I don't need to explain that. It cost them now twenty dollars. I got a little supply from one of the outer islands for twenty dollars at one time. And it's good revenue for the market of the outer islands, right? Okay? This was used when there was a meeting here for the Prime Minister. Also there's a uh, variety that uh, edible variety. Maybe it's not here in the outer, in the southern group, but in the northern group, we eat this. And they're huge bunches, it can be like that. And this is how we, we eat it. We can do it raw, we can uh, scrape the flesh off and make, mix it flour and become some bread. Okay? And it's very nutritious. It's a good source of vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and beta carotene. Okay. This is the eating variety. I don't think I haven't seen it in the southern group. No. But in the northern group, it's value. People plant it. Because we don't have good soil like the other like the southern group. So that's the variety we, we look at. If you get one tree, you value it. Give it the Hina. 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 What's the Hina? That's my language, Hina, we call it Hina. It's got a beautiful perfume used together with the colorful fruit and different flowers to make garlic or egg. Thread it into this strip to make it. I don't even mind the photo in the sun group. Mind it in, but I'm not talking, that's why I'm a beautiful brown skin. 
and it reflects this mental, spiritual well-being and happiness and so on. Yeah, all right with the OA? Okay? There you are, these two young, young people wearing the and also for tourism, for economic tourists. You see now when the tourist comes at the hotel and the other area, at the Arabic area, around the the cheap eggs, they then they eat the double to bed. I anyway, even our beach, eh, the tradition linked together with the Ministry of Environment. See, you're looking at the whole community, not just our young people, the contribution people. And our young people, they had the volunteer group to clean the, the beaches according to the feedback I got from the traditional leaders. And that's the summary. I'm not very good at that. So they are poor at how they are. But if you look at the poor, think of all those things about the poor, from the roots to the, the leaves, yeah. The contribution this tree can you can relate it to the development of a young person. How can we promote this PYD? Surround people with young, young people with positive influences. Don't just think of the negative about them. We need to look at the, the strong, the positive about that. Increase self-esteem. Provide nurturing, warm, loving care. Parenting relationship. Recognize young people's rights, their good values, their brief, honesty, integrity, respect, and compassion. Education, that you are very much in that role, appropriate resources and rewarding training for employment skills. I'm so glad we have that institute in Northern Yemen. Competencies for young people in positive youth development. Again, all the competencies are here, the examples we can use. You have this transparency, so I can even go through that. Uh, positive parenting, I think this is very important. We need to talk to our parents. Parents are woman, but also expect mature parents. Spend regular and positive time with their children so the children feel safe to talk freely about what they have in mind, both positive and negative. You know, talk about the negative, not just the positive thing. Parents discuss the rules appropriate to the child's age and explain why. Don't just say, don't do that. But also explain, don't do that, because if you do it, this will happen. If you don't do it, this will happen. You, you know, you will be going to go that way. And decisions are jointly made with parents, and mistakes are like this one. Mistakes are treated as opportunities to learn, rather than making a young person feel bad. Okay? I know that to their mama, or I tell them, you see a little <laughs> Parents make final decisions, remember that, and enforcement is consistent but not harsh. Example, loss of privileges may be used rather than physical punishment and verbal abuse. Sometimes this is worse than the physical abuse. Okay? Overall, this parenting style is a mix of warmth, flexibility and firmness, which is associated with positive outcomes emotionally, socially, academically, and with regard to coping with anti-social behaviors. Okay. 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 of strong families, appreciation and affection, positive communication, spiritual well-being, commitment, enjoy quality time, and ability to manage stress and crisis. <laughs> so those things are What do you could be? Taking on family responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I remember even as soon as I started learning, so we had to look after that's a disadvantage of number three or number two in the family. You end up looking after the number ten. <laughs> 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 But it's good training, I, I reckon. <laughs> Have a positive position in church. Engage in meaningful employment, teachers. Be innovative, successful entrepreneurs. And 
politics will be at there. Stay in education long enough to fulfill their dreams, seen as valued members of the society, even though they make mistakes. Remember, remember that boy I told you who went to prison at 14? Mm -hmm. They can change. Please, they can change. Be leaders in communities, resourceful, successful, and healthy citizens today and in the future. And lastly, when they become balanced, they will be effective, responsible directors. Quotes from a young female delegate at the World Health Family uh, Forum 210. His speech was a plea to the adult population of the world. We the youth call upon the adults to join us in making this world truly fit for children and young people working intergenerationally. Allow us to make this world truly our own, filled with love, where each child is everyone's child, where parents and their children can be friends, where men and women are treated as equals, where no one is judged for, for being who they are by society. Assist us in building a world where our rights are truly entitlements and not privileges. Good, I like that. And from an adult perspective, young people have much better chances of success in many areas of their lives when the world they live in is full of strength and positivity, not negativity. And this is the national news policy in New Zealand. And from the traditional leader of Takitu, I think she went to the Cook Islands Student Association at the University of Auckland graduation. And she said, I was so happy to see so many Cook Islands students graduate with their degrees. I am sure their parents and their home islands are very proud of them. So it's not just the parents, also the island. We are very proud of where we come from. And I even had a poem. A poem, uh, I asked this couple and they gave a to the and this is it. I want to read it to you. But the they translate it. I won't read the Papa Awa, I'll just read the Mariwa. But the Pu Ara Otaktu, Gorilla Poe E Tamarubur, it is Tamata Me Itomai. Pia Pao Ute Mitua, Mo Moe Te Moe, the Akayo Te Garuatura. Poe Maku. They do live at the Pole of Tay Tuato. Pena Tato at the Tuato in two main name. Yako in two a year name. Ama Yamayo Maku with the Kai Eta. Moria Maku with the Kai of Quartz. Ina Maria Mayo. Utu to Yaka Mat. Utoku and Rodea Eta Mutua. Nice one. Kepoku of wherever. Kemokura of Kaki. Kiriro e yantaki, mita. Mantu tu e tiritiri tu, no te tu atanki mua. Ka ngaro koe me tua, ma no o mapu e moe te korero, e e tiagi ki te tatu pakati, tatu tu. Atu ia e papate e tau o mama mi i te tatu. Yee, e koko. Ne ta ki kore te tatu. Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 Yes.